Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today we're going to take a look at constant rate of change, and our objective is going to be to identify proportional and non-proportional linear relationships by finding a constant rate of change. Now, in our first question here, Marcus can download two songs from the internet each minute. This is shown in the table below. It says to compare the change in the number of songs Y to the change in time X. And what do we notice? Well, our number of songs Y are increasing by 2 here, whereas our number of minutes is increasing by 1. And so we could say that the number of songs increases by 2 and the time increases by 1. Now if I'm kind of looking to make this a little bit of a rate here, I could almost say, and I could say, two songs per minute. Now, if I want to graph the ordered pairs from the table on the graph shown, label the axes, then describe the pattern shown on the graph. Well, we're actually going to put our time here on the x, as it says, and that's going to be in minutes. It's also important to label our units here. And then our y-axis is actually going to be our number of songs. And as I go to graph this, well, zero times zero songs. Then we'll have one, two, two, four, three, six. And lastly, we have four, eight. And describe the pattern shown on the graph. Well, it appears that the points appear to make a line. And this is what we're exploring today. Now, linear relationships are relationships that have straight line graphs like the one we just did. These are linear relationships. Notice that as the number of song increased by 2, the number of minutes increased by 1. So we had a rate of change of 2 songs per 1 minute. Now notice how the y is also on top over our x. Um, and so the rate of change between any two points in a linear relationship is the same or constant. A linear relationship has a constant rate of change. Let's go on to our first example today. We're going to ask ourselves, is this relationship linear? If so, find the constant rate of change, and if not, explain our reasoning. Well, let's look at our temperatures first. They go from 95 here to 90, so I'm decreasing by 5. From 90 to 86, I'm decreasing by 4. And from 86 to 82, I'm decreasing by 4. Well, that doesn't look too constant. Let's look at our time. From 5 to 10, I'm increasing by 5. From 10 to 15, I'm increasing by 5. And from 15 to 20, I'm also increasing by 5. So if I look at my first rate of change here, we have from 90 minus 95 to 10 minus 5, which got us this negative 5 over 5, which got us just 1 degree Fahrenheit per minute. If we compare that to the next one, where we went 86 minus 90 over 15 minus 10, that gets us negative 4 over 5. Well, this simplifies to 0 0.8 or negative 0 0.8 degrees Fahrenheit, so since this change here is different, we can say, no, the relationship
is not linear. Let's continue on. Is the relationship linear? If so, find the constant rate of change. If not, explain our reasoning. Well, the first step I would do when you're given the graph, it looks linear. It certainly looks like I could draw the line here, but we do need to make a table and do some calculations. So let's have our uh, volunteers, and let's compare that to our time. Well, when our number of volunteers was 8, and that's 80 minutes, uh, 16 was 60 minutes, uh, 24 was 40 minutes, we don't have anything for 32, so right now as I look at this, it looks like this went up by 8, and this went up by 8, where this went down from 80 to 60 by 20, and this went down by 20. So if I look at my rate of change here, we have 60 minus 80 over 16 minus 8, which is that negative 20 over 8, which simplifies down to about negative 2.5. So negative 2.5 minutes per volunteer. Let's compare that to the other one. 40 minus 60 over... 24 minus 16. Well, this 2 simplifies down to negative 20 over 8, which once more is negative 2.5 minutes per volunteer. It looks like we have a constant rate of change here since these numbers are the same. So, yes, and our reason why is the negative 2.5 minutes per volunteer is a constant rate of change. One of our key concepts today involves proportional linear relationships, and in words, two quantities A and B have a proportional linear relationship if they have a constant ratio and a constant rate of change. In symbols, B over A is constant, and change in B over change in A is constant. We're going to use this table to determine if there is a proportional relationship a proportional linear relationship between mass of an object in kilograms and the weight of the object in pounds. And we're going to explain our reasoning. Well, the first thing we're going to look for to see is there a constant rate of change. Well, our masses here on top are increasing by 20, and those are increases, whereas our masses in kilograms are increasing by 9, so our weight in pounds is, in is increasing by 20, and our mass in kilograms is increasing by 9, so we can say that, yes, there is a constant rate of change, uh, 9 over 20 is a constant rate of change. Now we need to look to see if our numbers are proportional. And the way we're going to do this now is to go, okay, my mass in the first one was 9 over 20. I'm going to then write the next one 18 over 40, and the next one 27 over 60, and the last one 36 over 80. Can I simplify these down so they're all the same? Well, 9 over 20 is already simplified. I can divide my 18 and my 40 by 2 to get 9 over 20, so so far we're okay. I can divide my 27 and my 60 by 3 to get 9 over 20, so there I'm good. And I can divide my last one by 4 and get 9 over 20, so there I'm good. So I have a constant rate of change of 9 over 20, and I have every single mass and weight being proportional also at 9 over 20. So it is a proportional linear relationship. Good luck.